Hey gang, we are back at Disney's Animal Kingdom today and it is a beautiful sunny Florida day which had me hankering for some barbecue and luckily there's a barbecue place here I've never eaten at before but I'm gonna need your help so come along. Come along. It's based off our name. The weather is so stunning today here in Florida. This is definitely the cool spring vibes before our summer heat comes. And as soon as we start to feel this weather, I wanna be outside, I wanna smell barbecue, and I definitely wanna eat some barbecue. So luckily, here at Disney's Animal Kingdom, they have a place called Flame Tree Barbecue. I'm gonna to try to eat their whole menu today. It is a walk-up restaurant, so the menu is a tiny bit smaller, so I think it is a very doable challenge. What will really be a challenge is trying to find the new baby elephant that was just born here at Animal Kingdom. I've seen photos and videos of it, so I wanna to try to get on the safari and see if we can get a glimpse. But first, we must eat all the delicious food. Let's go check out Flame Tree Barbecue. This is their whole menu, only eight items, plus a flamingo cupcake, which you know we're gonna get. Um, luckily, they do have some combos, so we're not gonna have to get all eight items because since they have ribs, chicken, you can get it together in a combo with baked beans, but everything else we're gonna try, even the impossible burnt ends here. And once you grab your food, a lot of people make their way over to this large pavilion over here. But this is a very hot tip. I recommend taking this pathway just past the, uh, the tiger holding the pig, I guess. Um, just past this hallway. Once you see the cute little gorilla, you know you're heading in the right direction. And you can find tables over here right on the water with the most beautiful view of Expedition Everest. The seating just goes on and on here. They have so many different areas. This is kind of the little waterfall seating. Well, maybe we can try to find a seat right around here with these guys. Okay, no joke gang, a cast member helped me carry this to the table. It was actually very, very pleasant. I was like, uh, do you mind if I come back for one of these trays? And they're like, no, we'll have someone help you. This was two whole tray fulls of the whole menu. Let's dive in. And take a look at this menu. First up is the baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork topped with onion rings and coleslaw for $12.49. And check out the slab of their classic cornbread as a side dish, it's $2.50. Then heading to the smoked pulled pork sandwich. It's topped with coleslaw and served with baked beans for $11.79. And this is their plant-based option. It's impossible burnt ends served with french fries and coleslaw for $12.29. And to be able to try most of their entrees all in one, this is the ribs and chicken combo. It's served with baked beans and coleslaw as well for $15.99. And you gotta end with a little flamingo cupcake dessert topped with the cutest flamingo for $6.29. I truthfully do not know where to start on this menu. I mean, look at this flamingo cupcake. Can we just start with dessert first? Cause this is the cutest dang thing I've ever seen but I think I wanna start with maybe some of the sides and then work our way up from the little appetizers and then onto the entrees. So the first thing that's calling my name, talk about a nice hot day in Florida with getting some good corny cornbread. I cannot believe how thick this girl is. She a thick girl, I love this. I do wish there was some butter, not gonna lie. I see some like red flakes in here as well. So I'm kind of thinking that this might have a little kick. I don't, I don't think it's a jalapeno cornbread, but it's at least maybe like a pepper or pimento type of cornbread thing. Let's try it. Oh yeah. That is really peppery. And truth be told, I don't even really think this needs butter. I think there is enough butter in it to go around. And sometimes I feel like cornbread needs butter because it's like overly dry. She is not dry at all. This is really delicious. I would come here just for the cornbread, I think. Okay, Ugh. and to try this next appetizer of a dish, I have 
Kristen here, of course. She's coming in because you are doing a video right now on some of your favorite food at Animal Kingdom. And this macaroni and cheese here at Flame Tree made your list. It did, and look at how fire it's looking today. The mac and cheese itself looks like literal perfection today. This is gonna be a, a really good one. And I did not know that they top it with onion rings because onion rings is technically also a side menu item. So it's like we got it two for one here. They're right there. And I wanna also say the onion rings that are on the menu that's one of the best, like another really good snack that you can get in the park. I think it's like five bucks for yes. a huge tray, Dang. a boat full of onion rings and the onion rings here are so good too, so. This does come with coleslaw on it. So if you're like Kristen and do not like mayo or coleslaw, get that on the side. So she's gonna try a, a non-coleslaw piece. I feel like, should I go in with the onion ring first? Go, go onion Yeah, let's ring try first. onion ring first. The color on it looks insane. The crunch is insane. And one of my favorite things about onion rings, to tell that they're a good onion ring, is if the onion stays inside the ring. I hate when you bite into an onion ring and then the whole onion comes out. It's in there. It's really, really good too. I know, they recently changed the onion rings. They used to be like panko uh, okay. crusted and fried and now they're like beer battered. Beer battered, like rings. a fish, like a fish and they're chips. They're still almost. really good. The other ones were a little bit better, but these are these are still delicious. That's fire, that's really good. Let's try some of this baked mac and cheese. I can tell it's baked too, Ooh, because it's like, cheese it's like that. sticking together. Let's see, can we get a good little cheese pull here? Maybe, maybe not. Oh that's yeah. It's pretty cheesy. <laughs> It's baked, so it's more of like, it, it doesn't have like that super creamy, but no. it's, it's it's a good baked mac and cheese. No. That's a big bite. You I know. Okay, right? that's too big. That's too big. <laughs> Let's get a different size here. All right, Cheers. dink it, sink it. That sweet, smoky BBQ sauce on there, that's so good. I was not expecting that to be good. Have you never had this before? No, I've never had this. I've never really eaten here since I was a child. Yo, you've been missing out. Flame and Tree, Flame Tree's got some good barbecue. I'm always wanting you to tell me the best mac and cheese in Disney World, and I this really is on my top five list. This might be it for me. This is on my top five list. It's on there. I just want you guys to see this pulled pork in the mac and cheese. They are not skimping. This isn't just a big old bowl of cheese and pasta. This is like legit, legit barbecue pork. And speaking of their pulled pork, if that is not enough for you getting their mac and cheese, they have an entire pulled pork sandwich with a side of fries. What I kind of realized from their menu, they pretty much let you customize what sides you want, but they have coleslaw, baked beans, and fries are their primary ones. Look inside here, coleslaw on top of, uh, of this pulled pork as well. So yeah, if you're not a slaw fan, make sure you're looking at your menu items and uh, remedy them if you need to. Truthfully, I would not remedy anything about this pulled pork sandwich. It is so, so good. The fries are just your basic Disney fries. I'm not gonna go too hard on these because we still have so much more food to get to. If you guys saw my last video, I did a completely plant-based garden graze over at Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival. It was so much fun. You wouldn't even know that you were eating plant-based. And I think over here at Flame Tree Barbecue, you wouldn't know that either. Look at these impossible plant-based burnt ends. Do you guys see that? This literally looks like beef or pork. What are burnt ends? Burnt ends, pork. I believe, I think. Um, but this looks so good. Also just served with fries. They're kind of like little diced up situations and barbecue sauce. Let's see how good this is. Very, very good. The seasoning on them to me is superb. They have been sitting a little bit while I took pictures of them. So they are a little bit cold. I would like them a little bit warmer, but that's on me. It's kind of giving me like meatloaf vibes also, but I'm loving it. Like it's not, it's, it's the best meatloaf bite I've ever had. I've had these burnt ends before. I actually had these on the day that Flame Tree got these burnt ends. So this was I, a new kind of menu yes, item. Yes, like, like a couple recently. months ago. I want to say maybe like November okay. or something they got these. Whenever they got their impossible partnership, yeah. basically. <laughs> and I loved them then. I haven't had them since. So let's see if they're still good. It looks like beef and pork mm -hmm. and real meat. Yeah. Last time I got them, they were a little more like 
I guess you could say like the the sauce on the outside was caramelized a little more, so it was like yeah. a little more sticky. But still, I think these are so good. I wish they would kind of do like a vegetarian option of the loaded mac and cheese and add like these that. these burnt ends on top. I bet you you could ask these them. These are so delicious. Yeah. Like you will, I we obviously are not vegan, and I enjoy these. And I would honestly order these here at Flame Tree. That's how good I think they are. I walked away for one second here. And this guy's stealing a french fry. Hey, get out of here. You're not allowed to have french fries. Come on, come on. <laughs> and our last entree to try, this is the combo. It has the full piece of chicken as well as a slab of ribs on the bottom. You can get both of these entrees separate, but since I wanted to try everything, I went and did the chicken rib combo and you get two sides with this, the beans and the coleslaw. Anything that you can hold like this, I feel like just tastes better than regular food. There is something visceral, there is something natural. This is the way that food was meant to be eaten. Oh yeah. Just like the way the pulled pork was, you can see that smoke ring, like, and the flavor of the smoke, the smell of the smoke that's coming off of it. You can tell this just wasn't put in an oven or put on a grill. This has smoke coming out of every orifice. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. No, we're not at Chili's. <laughs> Although sometimes I do wish I was at Chili's. These ribs though look even better than Chili's. It looks like it's three whole slabs of it. Look at that juicy, juicy deliciousness. All right, let's try to get a really good bite here. Wow, let me go in for a second. These are so well cooked that it's pretty much falling off the bone. I'm not having to pull this too much to get it to move. And I just wish I could get it to move faster into my mouth. Now last, but certainly not least, the Flamingo Cupcake. And I probably should have eaten this first because as you could see, her cute little wings are are definitely starting to dip out of the cupcake there. But I wanna try to get the wrapping off so we can see the inside. Oh my goodness. Oh my, look at this. Even the cupcake part is pink. I think I know uh, uh, what color my mouth will be after trying this. Let's try the wing first. Well, that's just melt in your mouth molding chocolate. That's what that is. Just sugary, sweet delicious. Now I got to try the, the flamingo head. Sorry, sorry gal. Mm. That kind of tastes like, um, like pixie sticks, like crushed up a little bit. I'm going to take the, I'm going to try to take the wings off so we can actually see this thing. It's even beautiful when it's not designed like a flamingo. And I think it's stuffed with something. Maybe we can cut open to it. Yep, just as I suspected, filled with deliciousness. Oh, if you know anything about flamingos, usually they flock together. And I would like about four more of those to be with me right now. That is one of the best desserts that I've probably ever had at Animal Kingdom. I wasn't expecting much from it. When you buy a cupcake, you think it's more for the kids, but this cupcake was elevated. It was beautiful. The portion is crazy and it's a freaking flamingo. Come on, it doesn't get much cuter than that. Speaking of flamingos, this guy is still eyeing down my french fries. I'm pretty sure he got a little pulled pork sandwich also, didn't you? That's why you keep coming back for more. Well, I am stuffed from eating that whole menu. Thank goodness I had some friends help me out, finish everything. But if you don't have friends and you're gonna be here alone and you're only wanting a few items, for me, I think the cornbread is a must, the flamingo cupcake is a must, and then I would just try one of the combo platters, either the ribs and the chicken. I think that they also have a chicken, pork, and ribs platter. That one's about $18 or $19, but those are definitely my must-gets here from Flame Tree, and I can't believe I've been sleeping on it this whole time. But if you have room for just one more item, that pulled pork baked mac and cheese 
really was probably one of the best things I've ever had at Animal Kingdom. I, I, I just can't decide. Just eat the whole menu the way I did. Let alone having all the barbecue, they do have some regular kids meals as well. A pulled pork platter, hot dog, PB&J but I didn't realize that they have alcoholic beverages. So I'm gonna try their Island Breeze. It's Parrot Bay coconut rum with layers of frozen raspberry and mango for $14. As I made a rookie mistake by not getting this to wash my barbecue down with, definitely add this to the list if you're here at Flame Tree. It is so refreshing. You gotta like rum to like it, but luckily, I'm usually the reason why the rum is all gone, and I love it. After all that food and this drink, I don't think I'm going to be making my way into Asia to go on Expedition Everest. A little bit too crazy of a ride for after eating the whole menu. But there is a ride here where I think we can maybe see a new baby elephant that's a little more my speed. Let's head to Kilimanjaro Safari. <laughs> We saw so many animals. Unfortunately, we did not see the new baby elephant, Cora. I think if you want to get some glances on her, you need to kind of come here first thing in the morning. This was later in the afternoon. I got on at about 2.30, so I'll show you a picture of her here. She is so stinking cute, and I'll have to get back here and check her out before she gets too big. A couple of my cast member friends who work on the safari said she's literally no higher than like what your hip is at. So she is a tiny, perfect new baby elephant but at least we got to see some flamingos just like our flamingo cupcake however those flamingos were not edible well thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and there's a couple things i need you to do firstly i need you guys to like this video and make sure you're subscribed because i have been posting so randomly you never know when a new video is going to come up secondly leave a comment below what was your favorite thing i had at flame tree barbecue today Thirdly, make sure you go in the description and get this really, really cool Pandora tie-dye shirt. And for the fourth thing, you guys already know, you just need a little peace, love, and positivity and all the good things. Love you guys. Bye.